Hey friends, welcome back. My name is Jane. This is my channel, Jane Vellante Art. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a really easy but super cute composition. I love these butterflies. You know I do. I hope you stay and watch the video. I have this really fun decoupage paper on my website. It's called Chloe, and it's that thicker, meshier paper, and I just thought this little part right here fits so well on top of this cradle board. So I am going to cut this out and use it. So I've got two paints here from the Paint Pixie Magical Chalk Paint line. I have the marshmallow and I have um, candy apple. And I have a huge mess on my desk. I don't know where any of my mats are. They're all dirty, they need to be cleaned. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put this out. So I'm going to do a little combination of uh, colors here and I wanna do some blending because, I'm gonna make a mess. This is going to stand out underneath this paper really pretty. So I'm just gonna get a little bit of this marshmallow on. I'm going to use a chip brush to add the candy apple. So I, I, the chip brush is really messy, right? It's can make some fun little texture with it. So I'm just gonna layer this in a little bit. Grab a little bit more of the marshmallow. That's probably too much. Uh, I might go in. With a clean brush, just because I want some of this white just to pop. All right, so this is all dry. Going to take some meltdown, squirt it right on there. If you haven't used the Paint Pixie Magical Chalk Paint yet, it does reactivate when wet. So I am putting a top coat on that to stop it from doing that. And then this top coat is really, really beautiful. All right, so this is gonna look super pretty on top of here. Sorry, just hit the camera. I am using my decoupage gel. You can find this on my website at janevellanteart.com. And you can see I'm putting a nice thick layer on because this paper is very meshy and it wants something to grip to. When you put a nice thick layer on, it just sticks right on. So 
super easy. That's so pretty, just like that. And I'm just going to use my sanding block to sand off the edges here, and I'll be back. This transfer set is called In the Meadows, and I really like these pink ones with it. Again, this is on my website, janevalenteart.com. You go under Shop. There are categories at the top. You can search that way. So I definitely want this one. over here better. I did put a coat of the decoupage uh, medium, the soft gel, on top of this paper as well, and then I dried it completely. It really just helps. Um, I knew I was going to be putting a transfer or something else on top, and it just really helps for that to stick and grip nice and easy. Thinking about putting this one in here somewhere too. I'll hold off on that. I am also thinking about putting maybe a butterfly because I have so many or a moth. I don't know if I'm going to have one that's the right color though. This one might be pretty. Actually, let's see. Get the package open. I don't know the name of this one off the top of my head. I really wish they would label their packages because even when I'm packing them up to ship them, I have to look up on my website what is what. <laughs> I wish they would just put the name of it on the back. It would be so much easier. So I'll make sure the name is in the description below. I mean, this is pretty simple. But you know what? I love simple projects that you can do quickly that are really pretty. No, if I like it, maybe I like it better like this. I do think I like it better like that. What do y'all think? I think it's cute and I'm gonna go with it. So all of these products you can find right on my website. Um, I generally do uh, a tutorial each week with a printable, and I think I'm going to do it live tomorrow on Saturday night. Um, so if you are not on my email list for the printables, there is a link in the description so that you can do that. I just think this is super pretty. It was so easy, and um, that's what I love. Uh, easy ways to use your art products and to make something just really, really pretty. I think I want to add this little baby rose, but the green is kind of throwing me, so I'm going to cut that off. <laughs> maybe I'm wrong, maybe I don't. I feel like it wants to be over here. How about like that? So that just helped with the balance a little bit.
and I really like it. I think it's just cute, simple, and super easy. How cute is this? I love it. So easy. I hope that you are inspired to try something similar. And thank you so much for watching. Please go visit my website, janebelanteart.com. You'll find inspiration, art supplies, classes, and I hope to see you right here next week, Friday.